you go to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, you are sure to see some wildlife, of course, whether it's a bear, deer, turkey. And if you're close to the water, you may see a salamander or two. The National Park Service just announced a new salamander species has been identified in the park. WATE 6 on your side's Kristen Gallant finds out more from one of the researchers on this new discovery. So a quick fun fact about me is that I'm actually terrified of lizards, salamanders, and anything that resembles them, which is why I think I was sent out here to do this story today. Now I did learn some interesting facts though. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the country, and now we've added a new species to the list. Gunige Uswetli uh, is the uh, scientific name for it, which basically means black belly. The Great Smoky Mountains is often called the salamander capital of the world, with dozens of species crawling around our East Tennessee streams and rivers. The black bellied salamander, uh, the split uh, has now brought us up to 31 species of salamander that have been recorded in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Super says nationally there are five different species of black belly salamanders and now two of them have been recorded in the park. We've got one we call the Cherokee salamander which is in most of the park and then up in the uh, Cosby area, uh, a different salamander called the Pisgah salamander or the Pisgah black-bellied salamander. He says the only way you can tell the difference is through a genetic DNA analysis, which you need a permit for. But you may be able to spot one poking its head out of the water if you look close enough. The black-bellied salamander is uh, a really large salamander uh, that lives in streams. You normally would see them more in lower elevations. Now, I didn't see any salamanders today, but if you do see one in the Smoky Mountains, you're asked not to pick them up. It can actually spread infections or disrupt their breathing. Reporting in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you for being so brave out there and <laughs> doing that story. Now, here's another fun fact. According to the Park Service, on any given day, there are more salamanders than humans found in the park.